In the 6th century BC, India was under the occupation of the Aryans. The dominant religion in the country was that of the Aryans, Brahmanism. The Aryans implemented a strict caste system in the country. Under that caste system, society was divided into different groups. Brahmin priests were at the top of the system and ruthlessly oppressed the people. During those years, a son was born to Prince Sudodana, a member of the noble Sakya family, Siddhartha Gautama. Siddhartha spent his youth in ease and plenty. When he reached the age of 29, however, he left the palace he was living in and turned to a mystical quest, as a result of which he set out certain principles. These principles gradually turned into a teaching, Buddhism. Buddhism arose in northeast India. In time, it extended throughout Sri Lanka, Burma, Thailand, Laos, Cambodia, China, Tibet, Mongolia, Manchuria, Korea, and Nepal. Today, it has about 330 million followers. The word Buddha means the awakened or enlightened one, signifying the spiritual heights that Siddhartha Gautama is supposed to have attained. And Siddhartha is remembered by that name. Buddha chose to speak about his basic tenets and hand on his form of worship orally. The teachings of Buddha were handed on from generation to generation, in oral form only, for 400 years. This teaching was then collected in a book called Pali Canon. The text regarded as sacred by Buddhism today is the Tipitaka, which contains many crass errors. This text was written in the Pali language. Buddhist priests perform their ceremonies and organize their lives according to this text. The only subject matter in these books is people suppressing all their desires and trying to train their souls by living lives full of poverty and suffering. Buddhists have so concentrated on those matters that they are totally unaware of a far more important truth. That truth is the existence of God. Many people who lack a comprehensive knowledge of Buddhism imagine that the aim in Buddhism is the worship of a creator, as in the revealed religions. The truth, however, is very different. Buddhism is a teaching which totally ignores the existence of God. For that reason, Buddhism is regarded as an atheist religion.
One of the main reasons for this is the narrow-mindedness of Buddhism. Buddhists build their lives on suppressing human wishes and desires and on performing various rituals. They never consider the question of how the universe, living things, and human beings came into existence. No Buddhist writings have ever even touched on these matters. Buddhists are therefore unaware of the existence and infinite might of the Almighty God, creator of the universe and all living things. As well as being atheist, Buddhism is also a pagan religion. In other words, it worships idols. The idol in question being Buddha himself. The process of turning Buddha into an idol began immediately after his death. Buddhist priests set about making him divine. They adorned the places they lived in with great statues of the Buddha, and then superstitiously worshipped these idols they had made with their own hands. They even built temples in which the Buddha's eyes were depicted. They thus believed that the Buddha could see everywhere and constantly watch people. Buddhism, an atheist religion, is unaware of the truths of the teaching of revealed religions such as Islam, Christianity and Judaism. The most important characteristic of revealed religions is that they regard God as the one and only. In the Quran, God reveals that Your God is one God, so submit to Him. Buddhists, however, deny God and irrationally make an idol out of Buddha, a helpless and mortal human being, just like themselves. In other words, they ascribe partners to God. In hundreds of places in the Quran, God reminds us that this association is a very serious sin. God has revealed that He will never forgive those who ascribe partners to Him in one verse. God does not forgive anything being associated with Him, but He forgives whoever He wills for anything other than that. Anyone who associates something with God has committed a terrible crime.